Hi, welcome to RetroGuys channel. Today I'm going to install OS2 2.11 on this 386. Let's start this machine up. The machine is currently running Microsoft DOS 6.0 and according to Microsoft Diagnostics it is, it's a 386 with 4 megabytes of memory. IBM OS2 started in 1985 together with Microsoft to make an operating system for the IBM PS2. In 1990 the collaboration between Microsoft and IBM ended and IBM continued with their operating system while Microsoft was starting with Windows. In 1992 the 32-bit era started and OS2 2.0 was released in April 1992. OS2 2.0 was considered as a better DOS than DOS and a better Windows than Windows. It managed this by including a fully licensed Microsoft DOS 5.0 with patches and for the first time it was able to run Microsoft Windows 3.0 applications. I'm currently installing OS2 2.11 which has Windows 3.1 inside as you can see later on in this movie. OS2 2.11 comes on 13 diskettes. Additionally, there are two multimedia diskettes, four printer diskettes, and two display driver diskettes. The total installation process took well over 19 minutes in total. Obviously I fastened this quite a bit to have this all in 21 minutes. It takes nearly 40 seconds to boot OS2 2.11 on a 386 at running at 40 megahertz and probably around 4 megabytes of memory. Back around 1990.
2 when this came out. This was really not that slow, but also not really fast. This was pretty common as a boot time for a graphical user interface. Yes, the graphical user interface takes another 30 seconds to boot. And we're in. This is the first screen you'll see in your first startup OS2. I'm using my keyboard here since my mouse wasn't really connected at this point. When we're done being welcomed at OS2, we have to wait another 1.4 minutes before we actually see the graphical user interface. And there we have it. This is OS2 2.11 running on a 386. Let's see if I can get my mouse working. There doesn't seem a way that I can actually set the correct COM port for the mouse in here. Let's see what we can set up under system. Well, that was a little bit boring. Let's see something else on this system. I love it how these icons build up on the screen. I am a musician, so a tune editor is something I really want to see. Oh wow, this looks really nice. Let's try it out. Not really impressed by that. Let's see how the CPU is doing. Let's see what games there are installed. These look like games you need a mouse for. I don't have that, so... As I mentioned before, this includes Windows 3.1. So let's start that up. And here we have Windows 3.1 running under OS2. Kinda neat. My mouse is still refusing to work, so I'll check if I can fix it over here somewhere. Nope. Can't select. And another 45 seconds wait to return to OS2. It's also running DOS, so let's try that. I wonder if Microsoft Diagnostics is installed. It is!
kind of hard to get out of this. Let's make it full screen. Ah, much better. Now I can go to the menus. DOS seems to think I have a mouse connected. Doesn't work though. Let's go back to the interface. It's quite annoying to not have a mouse in a graphical user interface. I guess I should fix that first. Change the internal COM ports and now my mouse is finally working. As I mentioned before, there's a multimedia installation diskette. So let's try that to install that, right? Now my OS2 is multimedia capable. Too bad I didn't connect anything to my sound card at this point. Well, I guess this is it. I hope you enjoyed this video of me installing OS2 2.11 on this really old 386. Uh, currently it's shutting down, as you can see, uh, this took forever, so I don't want to bother you with this information. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, or if you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. As some of you may know, I'm actually opening a museum in the Netherlands and I recently got really good news so it's probably going to open in the next few months. Make sure to go to www.homecomputermuseum.nl for the latest information about my museum you can visit. Hope to see you there, else see you next time.